Good evening. Anchor leg. We're almost done. My name is Ken Koo. I am the founder, CEO of Bridge Alliance. And you can tag us at Bridge NTX for all you social media fiends. And uh, if you want to visit our website, bridgentx.com. And um, before I get started, a quick show of hands, number of B2B startups in the audience. Quite a few, quite a few. How many C-level executives in the startup that work for a Fortune 500 company? That's what I thought. Bridge Alliance solves that problem. So, first of all, some facts and figures, right? You probably don't need to know this information. You might already know it, but Texas, the number one state with Fortune 1,000 companies, right? So, <laughs> You probably already know this as well, 41 Fortune 1000 headquarters here in North Texas and we continue to win. Low taxes, great real estate, great talent, right? So what does the Bridge Alliance do? It's a program. It is a startup. We started in January, but it's a program that formally introduces startup and academic innovations, all of you, to big business formally. So we will become a channel to expose all the great stuff that you all are building to these executives. So how do we do that? Right? So we've been in business since in January. And let, us, let me walk through with you our pitch to the executive in terms of methodology. They can't be everywhere. And they cannot allow, uh, spend their resources to be at all the open coffee cups, all the Dallas uh, pitch days that we have around town or Arlington or Fort Worth, we need to bring our products and services to them. So what we do is, in our three-step process, first one is expose. So through our events, we hold a series of events that we'll have twice a year, as well as we release a report. A report that's called a book of lists. Anybody heard of the book of lists, right? It's out there. We created a book of lists of startups, B2B startups. We already have 135 of them. We curated over the last 36 months, 500 startups and called them down to 135. So we're gonna send every executive in town a copy of the book of lists and they're gonna call us. Second, experience. What are we gonna do? We're going to offer a service called Open Innovation as a Service. We're going to create private pitch days based on the individual needs of each one of these companies. So what, tell me about your problems and your business challenges, and then I will send it out to all the startups and ask them if they're a good fit. Last, execute. That's when I get out of it. Bridge Alliance is a matchmaking service. It's a curation service. Whatever the big business decides to do with your B2B startup, that's up to you. If they want to be your customer, if they want to invest in you, if they want to do joint ventures and partnerships, that's completely between you and that big corporation. I step out of it. So I said we've been in business since January, so what have we done? In April, we held two events. We go to market with economic development and cities, and they help. <laughs> They help bring the businesses in their communities out by inviting them to essentially an event. So the executives are much more likely when the city invites them to an event than when you and I call a meeting and have an event. So we had 200 people show up first time, first two uh, events that we had. Executives, civic leaders, mayors, startups, and academic institutions. So for our first shot out of the gate, we had a startup showcase of about 10 startups. I don't know if any of these startups are here. It doesn't look like these startups are here today, but these six startups have already received business because of that event. So the system works. So as with any organization, not only do you get to work with us, you get to work with our partners. So these are our service partners that are here to help you whenever you're ready to take a project on or to help the enterprise create a new project to bring your technology or your innovation into that organization. So what do I need? First call to action. I need you all to tell me you exist, right? I have a database of four to 500 startups 
I need more. So my first call to action is register at bridgentx.com. So Great presentation, best gong of the night. That was impressive. Nice gong. <laughs> All right, how about some Q&A? All right, who, who's up? Here we go. What was your second call to action? Thank you. My second call to action is Connection, which is the name of our our book of lists, the first book of lists created in DFW about startups, about B2B startups. And our second call to action is tweet this, which is go to getconnection.net, you'll get a 30% discount because thanks to Launch DFW and Dallas New Tech, put in the promo code Launch DFW and get a 30% discount on this book of lists. See what the executives are reading. Still here. Uh, yes. Where's the money come from? Who pays who? How are you making yep. money? What's the story? Yep. So we make money as a services organization, as a knowledge management company, similar to like a Forrester or Gartner. So we consider ourselves like the Forrester Gartners of startups. We are essentially knowledge managers. We sell report, research, and then we provide a private pitch day as a service. Bill. Hey, good evening. Hey. Hey, uh, just a quick question. Um, I just got back from Patriot Bootcamp over the weekend, and one of the issues there was it was uh, USA was a sponsor, they're a FinTech, and most of the people in the audience weren't fintech startups, there might have been one or two. Um, wouldn't it be better to specialize in a vertical and then um, approach those Fortune uh, 500 or Fortune 1000 and saying, hey, I only specialize in fintech or only specialize in logistics, et cetera, et cetera. Great question. So this is my personal hypothesis, but I believe the intersection of things that don't make sense causes the best innovation. So we already have accelerators in the market I don't have to name them, that specialize in verticals. So they already know who to call for that, right? It's when you don't know what you don't know is when you use the Bridge Alliance. So yes, sir. you already answered my question about how we can help. So uh, to elaborate on the previous question, are you paid by the larger Fortune 500, Fortune 1000 companies based on a per connection basis or by the startups based on equity basis? Yeah, by engagement. So we do not take equity. We're not a fund. We're not. Um, investors in the startups. Otherwise, then I'd have two masters to serve, right? So make no mistake, my customer is the corporation, is big business, but there's no cost to the startups, right? That's why this model works. You don't have money to spend to hire an executive, perhaps, to get you into the door to meet with these corporations. So what we do is try to remove that friction and break down that barrier. So one other quick question. It seems like startups are probably more heavily represented here. How do you provide to the startups themselves an assortment of different companies or different options they might have to present versus the companies picking from the startups? Yeah, so the, unfortunately the companies do pick the startups. Right? So they have certain initiatives in mind. So whether they're a telecom company or a fintech company, or whatever the company may be, they will tell me, hey, I'm interested in looking at IoT today. And then perhaps six months later, they may decide, I wanna look at FinTech. It just depends on that particular organization, but if it's not in the strategic development at that Fortune 500 or big customer, they're probably not gonna look at you, unfortunately, right? That's why, again, I can't, I'm not an agent of the startup. I don't rep, I'm not out there hitting the pavement representing you. I'm solving a business challenge for the corporation. Meanwhile, hopefully, your solution is able to fit that need. So a question about uh, how the Fortune 1000s work, because most of them should have like a VP of business development or VP of corporate development who should be, that person's job is finding these kinds of companies. So Correct. why would that person kind of allow this to kind of uh, end around what their job function should be? That end around already happens because C-level people are the knowledge managers of the companies, right? So they hire the foresters, the gardeners, the et cetera. But to, to address your specific question in terms of need, again, they're typically a person or two people, right? So how do they keep track of every single startup? This is a research service. It makes it their job more efficient instead of trying to compete against their job, that's the, actually the person I want to talk to. 
So if, if uh, this person would go to TechCrunch, uh, what additional information do you present through mm -hmm. your reports that is not available yep. already there? So we vet, and we have a call, and our report, if you, um, if you take a minute to, to perhaps be nice enough to download it and, and purchase it, I can answer that question later. Thanks. Well done.